Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we'll be walking you through the process of installing and configuring MongoDB on a Fedora 41 Linux system with a focus on enabling user authentication. User authentication and authorization are essential for securing your MongoDB deployment, especially in professional web hosting setups. Let's get started. To begin, we will follow the instructions provided on the official MongoDB website for installation. First, we need to create a repository file for MongoDB. We'll create a file called slash etc slash yum repos d slash mongodborg 8.0 repo using your favorite text editor. Now we'll update our system to ensure all repositories are in sync. To install MongoDB on Fedora 41, run the following command. The mongod mongosh shared opencil3 package is required to use the mongodb shell mongosh properly on fedora 41 without this package you may encounter issues while using the shell We'll now connect to MongoDB using the Mongosh client. Once inside the MongoDB shell, let's check the existing databases. By default, MongoDB comes with three system databases, admin, config, and local. For demonstration purposes, we will now create two databases, students and gone, and configure user authentication for them. We are inserting one record into the student's database. Show collections is similar to show tables in a database. You can use both terms here. DB command gives you name of current database. We are also inserting one record into the GON database.
C. Two databases have been created, and the user list is blank. Now, let's create an administrative user. This command creates a new user called site user admin with the password admin number 1234. The user is granted the role of user admin any database, which allows them to manage users in any database within MongoDB. This user can create, update, and delete users across the MongoDB system, making them an admin for user management. For the students and GONE databases, we'll create two separate users. Here role is read and write, database is students. You can quit the MongoDB shell by typing. To enable authentication, we need to modify the MongoDB configuration file. Find the hashtag security section and enable authorization by adding. Save the file and restart the MongoDB service. Now that authentication is enabled, we'll try to connect to MongoDB again using Mongosh. Without proper authentication, we won't be able to list databases or access them. Try listing the databases. As expected, the command will fail without authentication. failed again. We need to use the admin database for authentication. Now let's authenticate as the admin user. After successful authentication, you'll be able to list the databases and perform administrative tasks. We can also test logging in with the student user and GON user to show how database-specific permissions work. After logging in, you will have access only to the GON database and not the student's database or any others. You can also connect to the MongoDB shell directly from the command line using a username and password, as shown. Here, 127.0.0.1 refers to the local host, and 27017 is the default port for MongoDB.
Oh no. Oh, we can alternatively do it this way. In a real-world scenario, you can create additional databases and users as needed. If necessary, you can also drop databases and users. This ensures that you have complete control over your MongoDB environment, including user management and security. And that's it. We've successfully installed MongoDB, set up authentication, and tested user permissions on Fedora 40 One Linux. Now you're ready to use MongoDB with robust security for your applications. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth guides on Linux and database technologies. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.